So I've just finished making this ball bearing machine and it turned out to be a really cool project. It was quite straightforward to make and put together and works pretty reliably. So I thought I'd quickly share the uh, build process I went through to get to it. So at the heart of the machine is this fairly straightforward mechanism. There's a rotating wheel which comes around, picks up a ball bearing and pushes it at the top. But the key thing that stops it just going back around with the wheel is a slight raised edge in there. So that raised edge means that when the ball comes through, it gets guided straight out the top again. When I'm designing something like this, I usually take the approach of focusing on one part at a time. So rather than trying to build a load of stuff and then building it or printing it and realizing it doesn't quite work and having to fix loads of things, I'll just do a little bit at a time. And so the first few designs were more about kind of how the servo motor kind of gets pinned in the back and so the kind of locking mechanism it uses. It wasn't really focused on how the balls were kind of passing in or out. But once kind of that was uh, solved, I kind of moved on to a, a fairly kind of basic hopper mechanism to see how that could function. And then that progressed onto this design here with a kind of system to catch the balls and funnel it back through. But then the final revision of that was this one here. And so balls would land in here and kind of get caught. So I kind of cleaned that edge up, made the ramp a little bit steeper going between the two just to encourage them to move through. And so in the end, it did work pretty well. So because of the constraints with 3D printing, I couldn't really have any overhangs, which meant this had to be split somewhere or another. I opted for kind of um, top and bottom splitting and then putting it back down together, which resulted in this. And the top literally just pulls off. I'm really quite pleased with this. It's just a really basic friction fit, but it works remarkably well. A servo motor then kind of slots in the back. It comes out. So it's made from three 3D printed parts. The wheel which fits around a standard kind of servo horn. And then the top and the bottom, all of which kind of clip together. From testing, this seems to work really quite reliably. It works with up to five ball bearings before things start to go wrong. Um, although knowing my luck, it's not gonna work as expected. So any more than this, we start to get bottlenecks around the entrance funnel here. But I suspect a design improvement could change that. And any fewer, and it doesn't always make it around. So it relies on the ball bearings coming down here to knock any which might be stuck in the channel to get them in. So the five seems to be the perfect combination for this. So there you have it. A silly little kind of project taking up a couple of evenings, but it I'm really quite pleased that it does work as a nice kind of self-contained unit. I'm going to put the three kind of models involved in this up on Thingiverse, so anyone else can download it if they want. And it should be pretty straightforward for even the kind of crappiest printer like mine to print.